Hello flight simmers, in this video I will help you with fixing the Phoenix A320 display delay, lag and stuttering issues. Recently Phoenix has released their block 2 of their Phoenix V2 and a recent update as well to the block 2 update fixing major issues. However, many of you are still facing the laggy Phoenix A320 eCam, the PFT and the ND and overall low FPS after this update. The issue is with many high-end gaming PC users as well. I had the same issue as well. However, what I did instantly fix this issue and now I am enjoying the beautiful Phoenix A320 aircraft. I am sure this method will work 100% and fix this issue for you as well. My PC specs are the lowest but still I fixed this issue and able to enjoy this heavy piece of aircraft that runs externally in the windows. If I am able to enjoy this heavy resource consumption aircraft then I'm sure anyone with higher specs than me will be able to do so. I know you are waiting to fix your Phoenix A320 as well so let's begin with the same. Before starting with the fix let me tell you that I have not changed any graphical setting to improve the performance everything remains the same as i was using earlier starting with the fix microsoft flight simulator must be closed and not running so make sure msfs 2020 is closed and not running if you have steam make sure it's not uh, showing as running in the steam application launch your phoenix application now and make sure phoenix a320 is up to date and updated now make sure your settings look like this keep the display sync turned on or checked and rest of them must be unchecked now click the apply button and close the phoenix app open the windows search box and type percent app data percent and click on microsoft flight simulator open the packages folder and delete the fnx hyphen aircraft hyphen 320 folder that is the phoenix aircraft a320 folder why to delete this folder you would like to know the reason so the reason is that this is the main aircraft work folder that msfs uses to simulate the aircraft this is the folder where after every update it must get compiled correctly however most of the time it isn't and the remains of the previous code and the compiled files of the previous version of the aircraft conflicts with the new version so some of the files do get updated properly some of them are not updated also deleting this did not delete any simbrief id from the phoenix efp or my saved panel state so it keeps the memory with the aircraft it does not forget everything or your uh, recent saved settings so if you had turned off cabin then it will remain the same even after deleting this folder those are unaffected and will retain your previous settings now after deleting this folder start your microsoft flight simulator 2020 and make sure you are not running any extra softwares as we are testing it right now for this test keep minimum background apps and not running hundreds of chrome tabs let the msfs 2020 load itself keep yourself calm no need to hurry as soon as the msfs main menu opens up wait there for two minutes at least select the aircraft and the livery that will be of course the phoenix and make sure you are using the official livery that you have updated and make sure the liveries are updated from the livery manager as well after selecting the aircraft that is any engine variant you like and after selecting the livery of phoenix a320 wait there stop no need to hurry just stop at that screen where we select the liveries and the aircraft stop there for five minutes go around go away take a coffee or anything you want take some breakfast and then get back to your gaming pc or the laptop as it will be recompiling the aircraft in the background since we are fixing the phoenix of course we need to spend something to get something so give some time that is five minutes let the aircraft load no need to hurry no need to make your computer rush especially if you have a low-end pc or your msfs is running in an hard disk drive so just go away for five minutes even if you have nvme after the time passes up select your favorite airport and spawn there please note that you don't spawn on the runway directly we don't want to force the plane to load in the running state we need cold and dark if you see some done io crash warning 
in the window nothing to worry about don't worry it does not crash msfs 2020 just select ok i will not recommend changing the panel states to running directly after you spawn just start it from cold and dark just turn on the batteries external powers and do all the basic checks if you want as soon as you start your phoenix and uh, move your camera and check the displays your mcdo you will see everything is now much smoother than your previous version or the last time you tested phoenix when everything was laggy and jittery at the flight controls check after you push back you will see that the ecam is very smooth the ecam fps or the refresh rate of the ecam display is very smooth as well and the controls are not jumping off so whenever i used to do flight controls check and uh, check the elevator rudder it used to jump off and jitter so that would affect my takeoff and landing as well so that is also fixed now which is very good and uh, i am sure this will work for you as well just this simple method fixed my display lag freeze and stuttering issues with the phoenix a320 and i'm really loving this block too now it now feels much better and hand flying is a pleasure now in this phoenix a320 aircraft now just one tip so i just want to let you know that before you start microsoft flight simulator 2020 again after deleting that phoenix aircraft a320 folder remember i told you to launch msfs but make sure your phoenix application is now open up okay so make sure the phoenix app is running and then load the msfs 2020 so just make sure the phoenix app after deleting the phoenix folder is now opened up again and running and then launch msfs 2020 if you are facing any display freezing issues or stutterings and uh, very low fps then you used to get earlier if you are facing any display freezing issue or stutterings or any other low fps problem than you used to get earlier then i highly recommend to try these steps and let me know if it did fix the issue for you or not in the comments down below i hope you found this video helpful and if you did make sure to like and share this video i don't make a lot of flight sim videos but if you like similar content then make sure to subscribe i recently bought the thrust master tca boeing quadrant as well make sure to check this video out thanks for watching and have a great day and enjoy the phoenix a320 block 2 it's really a good aircraft now